Hey guys, welcome back once again to Breath of Fire 3. When we last left off, we had just defeated a very evil dolphin. Which, if you know anything about dolphins, is pretty par for the course. And I found out that really the, uh... Hey. Okay. Wow, that's a hell of a kiss. Sure, hopefully. Awesome! Whoa! Okay, we sure will. And by every once in a while, we mean years and years later. Because right now, the fairy village is not open. Can't do anything fairy village related. Just yet. Soon, though. Now, this might be a good time to check that. I am uncertain if that is available now or if that is only available after you're in a... Well, I'm not gonna spoil that. Although most of you probably know. I'm keeping Pico at level one as much as possible for the simple fact of, I really, I wanna wait till all the masters are open so I can build him just how I like him. Sculpt him, oh dear God. Although I'm probably powerful enough to take them. Okay. What you want to do here is you want to get Pico and... What the hell was that? Damn it. I'm thinking. I, I'm trying to remember if you have to. It, I, I'm trying to remember if you have to. The prerequisite for this master is uh, just meeting the fairies or actually having the fairy village open. I don't remember. What the hell, man? Again? Alright, I'll try one more time, and then I'll... Don't be Goo Titans, please. I like how a Pico looks like he has like a popped collar. I think that's kind of funny. Now, what you want to do here is run all the way back and... Oh, I forgot there was a bag there. And you get Merry Leap. The flower jewel. Yes, that that random item that we got all that time ago. Over there next to Ginmel in that question area. You can sell that actually for 5,000 zinni, but if you sell it, you can never, ever get Merrily. So I don't recommend you actually you know, do that. So the first thing we want to do is, do I want, yeah, I want to put Momo on her. Nope. Let's go get that bag real fast. 
nice little protein. Merileep is a interesting master. She very, very high. Damn it. Very, very high agility gain. Uh, I think two a level, but it's, I think, negatives on all the other stats. So it's, but she teaches some of the best skills in the game. Which you definitely want to learn. Okay. First thing I want to do is... I'm going to go check out the camp menu just so you can see exactly what Merileep stats are. Two agility, minus one HP, minus one power, minus one defense. Yeah. Decent. At least it won't interfere with her AP and intellect growth. Alright. Let's go see if the boat's back. Don't really need Pico, but okay. I'm sorry. Well, shit. That's okay, I was expecting it. Guildmaster? There's a road. But the road's covered in lava. Huh. Well, okay, whatever. I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. Okay. Secret shortcut. By the way, totally not a shortcut. But it does get us through. A shortcut, liar. Now, once again, I recommend you carry Gar with you due to his natural fire resistance. But I also recommend make sure everybody is at full HP and the AP, and then get the party you want to carry in, and then come back in and go to that vaccination clinic. The vaccination clinics are semi-useful at certain points in the game. This is one of them because you can come in here and get a fire block shot. And every time you get a fire block, uh, the shots last until you stay in an inn or camp. And they're pretty good. If you can think to, you know, 
really not worth it most of the time, but like I was saying, uh, specific points in the game, they are worth it, and this is one of them because of the flame block. Because almost everything in the mountain uses fire. Mount Zublo, a road made by the Porter's Guild. Impassable due to the recent eruption. Hmm. I think there might be a, uh... Yeah, the, the uh, road. I knew there was something over here. Not vitamins. I want to use these proteins. Now, fish heads, swallows' eyes, and moxes cannot be stolen from enemies like the other stat boosters can. So, if you can keep a hold of one of each until you get to the fairy village. You can actually do the copy shop and copy as many as you want. Okay. Hmm. Left is the volcano. Oh, excuse me, the regular road. Can't go. This way is the volcano itself. Hmm. Yes. Uh, if you step on the lava that's on the floor, it will actually do damage to you. So be careful. Lizard men are fairly basic enemies. They do have a couple of moves up their sleeves. One of them is they can cast shield on everybody on the screen. They do have a damaging, fairly damaging normal attack. And then there is the issue of their wind blow. Wind strike? Yes. It's not very damaging, but you can learn it. Damn it. Is that the gas that confuses you? No, but it does damage. So watch out for the gas. Uh, the lava on the ground, it will damage you. You can walk over it if you want. Ah, lava men. Is this the enemy that te- I don't remember. Yeah. These guys are... I don't remember what they do. There is one enemy in here. I don't remember what it's called off the top of my head. It's a giant rock with a face, so it's kind of hard to miss. Uh, if you cast a fire spell on it, it will actually cast... It'll wake up. Until then, it'll actually be kind of asleep. But once you wake it up, you can learn a really good skill. The Vulcan. There he is. Before you do that, though, you want to... Uh, kill the lava man. Oh, by the way, if you gave Bade a claymore, you would have gotten back a flare sword. Do not use that in here. <laughs> also, the butt on the rock is hilarious. It is truly hilarious. Okay, burn. And the Vulcan begins to move, in which case you want to examine him, and he will cast nothing. They can cast spells. Let's go ahead and learn this spell, please. It's 
a very good fire spell. Yes, Lava Burst. Hits everything on the screen. It's a level 3 fire spell. Uh, it's of above average strength. After you learn that, well, then just, you know, go after everyone. I just forgot to put the Ice Chrism on Momo, which I recommend you put on her. Which is another good reason to bring Momo along. Ice Chrism. Of course, you could alternate. If you really like using Nina, you could, of course, just use Ice Blast. Anyway, next time on Breath of Fire 3, we continue on through the volcano.